So now we'll talk a little bit about how to use a private cloud engine. This is one of the main features of this Chess Engine Cloud. Uh, you want to use your own computers, your own engines at home, uh, but you want to be able to access their analysis from wherever you are in the world as long as you've got an internet connection. So you're connecting your private computers to the Chess Engine Cloud for analysis just by you. So first of all, you need to go into the computer that's actually providing that engine. So ideally this would be um, your most powerful one, maybe your big desktop that you've got at home with lots and lots of processors, lots of cores, lots of memory. The one that you're not going to be moving around or taking with you, or even just whatever it is, whatever your most, uh, your fastest one is. Have this one uh, generally as the one that's providing the engine, because obviously then you're going to maximize that power. Um, so you're in uh, Fritz 13, and you go into the engine tab, click on open cloud engines, log in with your playchess.com account, username and password, click OK, and we're here in the chess engine cloud. Now what you want to do is go up to here to offer private engine. You can see load an engine or offer it privately to yourself on another machine or a specific group of users. So you can uh, mean that it's available to only users you specify or it's just available to yourself. That's a private chess engine. So click on that. That brings up the list, uh, the load engine window, the list of engines that are on your computer. So you can choose which ones you'd like to offer. Um, so for now, let's say we'll offer Deep Ribka 4.1. It's uh, but it's up to you which one you'd like to offer. You can obviously go into the advanced window. It's just uh, the engine parameters uh, and options. You can do any of these uh, just like you would when you were loading a com uh, an engine onto your own computer. But when you're ready to go, click OK. You'll see that uh, engine's loading. Then you get this one little screen that's going to come up um, when that's loaded. And this is the screen. It comes up with a sort of a board window. You've got here the uh, the engine window, but nothing's running right at the moment. But you can see that engine's loaded. And unlike when you just load a, a local engine, it's which is uh, that's written in black. You get to see this in blue. Just shows it's a remote engine. And at the moment, it's only visible to chess-based Nick, which is me, which is my playchess.com account details. So that's offered the uh, chess engine, and you've done that on your computer at home or wherever it is, whatever one you, whatever computer you want to provide the engine, that's how you do it. But then, if you now want to access that um, engine, let's uh, just log out of this. Remember, you've done that; you've just done that process on a different computer. So you're now logging in. Uh, imagine you're logging in on the computer that you want to use to access that uh, engine. Uh, so you might be on a laptop, say, out in a tournament, or just anywhere else. You've got that one at home, you've just done that process to log it in. And you want to see the private engine. Well, you can see I've already done that on a couple of other computers, actually. Um, I've used um, some of my spare laptops around the flat to uh, log in. Here's two uh, laptops that I've loaded and I've offered engines with Deep Fritz 13. And you can see there's actually two different ones. Now, um, you'll see one of those is private and one of those is public. And I've got two different This is That's a very old computer, my very old. That's about 12 years old. But it's still just to show you the purposes um, of offering this engine. Um, that's offering one engine and that's a Core 2 computer, so a slightly more up-to-date one. Only a couple of years old, that one. Offering Both of them are offering Deep Fritz 13. But only one of them is offering it for free, and you can see which one is private by ticking here. And that shows you all the private ones. It's actually the old one, the older computer that's offering the private engine. If we untick that, you get all the engines again. But you can see it's actually a different colour. So all the others are black. The the uh, private engines, this one in blue. You can sort by provider to go to my engines here, Chess Base Nix engines. And all you need to do is just double click on that private engine. That'll bring up uh, the, this little window here, Deep Fritz 13, used by Chessbase Nick. The engine is only visible to you. Now, if you uh, bring up a board window, you'll see that that engine's actually analyzing away. So whatever you do on here, you're going to be analyzing. You can see that engine, It's very obviously it's a very slow engine because it's on my very old computer. But the point is, I'm... Uh, I'm accessing an engine. You can see that uh, again, it's written in blue here to show that it's a remote engine. It's not an engine on this computer. 
Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm accessing the engine and the processing power of my other computer but I'm using it um, on the computer that I've got with me. Uh, obviously ideally you'd want to do it the other way around so your, your slower computer you'd have with you, your laptop or whatever, the weaker computer and you're really strong, your processing beast you'd have at home loaded in and you'd be accessing that engine. But just for the purposes of the video I've shown it to you. But uh, the process is exactly the same. So there you go, that's uh, how you can access a private engine using Chessbase's Chess Engine Cloud.